As I was looking for work, I was looking for a program that supported students and provided me the opportunity to be creative, and MESD allowed me to do that. The goal of my life's work has always been to help people, and at MASD I get tremendous opportunities to help people to make a difference in children's lives and their families. I wanted to be a nurse. I also wanted to be a mom and a wife, and this was a great fit. Um, it has allowed me to do both, and I love living in the Northwest. Our primary mission is to work with the school districts, serve the school districts, and work together to provide the best education for the children and, fam children and families. Main philosophy um, and mission for MESD is uh, to connect with kids, really meet them where they're at, and build on their strengths. MESD's main mission is to support children and families. Children are our most important natural resource, and uh, I think that that transcends all the programming at the MESD. Just why I chose to work at MESD and why I chose to stay at MESD is due to the supportive nature of the administration, the superintendent, the board, and that's throughout the history of MESD. I honestly feel our supervisors' goals are to make jobs easier and to support us. Any new technology that comes up, they give us classes, they offer one-to-one. -one. They are always available for consultation on challenging cases. When I spoke to them about graduate school and explained what the schedule would be, they said, we'll support you to make it happen. We'll work the details out later. They were behind me fully. The teachers allow me to teach what I need to teach. They allow me to be creative, you know, with the curriculum. They're always asking us how we feel about, you know, when we go to our all staff meetings every month, what kind of things we want to explore. So then that's, it's not always administration's agenda, it's also, they also look at what we, what we care about. Anytime something kind of goes wrong, the focus is on solutions to make it better the next time. It never feels punitive or that you're being dinged for, for things. It's, a solution focus. I love that we work in multidisciplinary teams. So as a teacher, I regularly work with a speech path and an occupational therapist and a physical therapist. And so we're really working in this very collaborative, multidisciplinary way. But I get to do some partnering with people in the community so that we can give the best service for the children. So if they're needing further help, say, with their speech and language, we know how to make that referral. Well, MESD is so well connected into the community that it's easy for us to be able to access additional resources for our students. We utilize resources from the community a lot. Um, we're looking at job skills. Uh, we have special education students. Uh, we work directly with um, legal and court individuals. My focus is on development and education for the children that I work with, but if their family doesn't have a bed to sleep in, we need to get those basic needs met before we can start really working on um, you know, all the great things that we want to see their children doing in school. They know everyone. They know folks who've been around and know how to negotiate those systems. So I think that's, that's a huge advantage of their longevity and their ties to the community. MESD has consistently supported creative and cutting edge ideas and innovative strategies and techniques with kids. I've enjoyed being able to be uh, creative and innovative with some of the ideas that I've had and I think that in some school settings um, there's a little more red tape that you might go through or, or maybe not the freedom to really express yourself that way. I feel really proud that I can think of a curriculum or think of a project, um, get it funded and, and try it and, and you know see that it's working and know that that's because of the idea that I had. That's something that I really wanted to do and I was able to see it um, from the very conception. I get to do some innovative things with the children in the home. I get to use some of the cutting edge types of therapy approaches. The robotics um, 
uh, piece that I started here um, just came off the top of my head and I thought, you know, I think that there's a way that we can uh, uh, assist these kids into learning to work together and, and, and get along and, and at the same time I can teach them a skill. I was able to go to a conference and uh, I met someone there that had a uh, smoothie bar for their students and so I was able to get some great ideas and uh, come back and, and made a proposal. So we opened our own uh, Fruitalicious smoothie bar uh, where we are able to give students cash handling and work experience and integrate healthy living and nutrition into workplace skills. And so now we have an on-site business um, that the students uh, run. One of the things I've seen are these really cool light tables and they cost about $500. Um, and the kids can practice with shadows and shapes. And so I wrote a grant this year and I was given a $600 grant to buy the table and also to buy the, some of the really cool supplies that the kids would need. We're all in tough financial times right now, but MESD is very proactive in, in finding other funding streams such as grants to support these efforts uh, of new research and new ideas in education. I love living here in the Northwest and I love how it dovetails in with the, the MESD, that I can live my life fully there and also live my life fully in the Northwest. I love Portland. What can't you do here? You can, you can get to the mountains in 45 minutes, you can get to the beach in an hour, you can park your car near to where you live and take mass transit downtown where you can have an evening at the ballet and a great dinner and dessert afterwards. Um, you can go to Saturday Market, you can do everything here. I love Portland, I've been here 14 years. I love to backpack and to hike and to bike like many in the Northwest and it's just a great playground for doing that. I'm never leaving, it's a great city to live and work in. My main purpose is at the end of every day, I have made a difference in a student's life. I have somehow made somebody better every day I go to work. Every family isn't the Brady Bunch, and many kids come to school in spite of life, and they are the true heroes in the education system. Kids do come here, in a sense, raw and sometimes they don't know how much skill they have and it's up to us to bring that out and it's really nice to see when it comes out. My reward comes when they leave the school, you know, from when they walked into the school with their heads down and then they leave the school with their heads up. To know that I had uh, just a little piece to play in that, that's, that's huge to me. Watching students that I've worked with all year and the other advocates that I work with, seeing their students graduate knowing that they're going to be going to college with financial aid firmly in place. Hopefully they'll have a scholarship or two that they can make ends meet while they're in school. That, that to me is the absolute most satisfying aspect of, of being at the MESD. Really, there is no other place like the ESD, S sincerely. Um, I value and respect all of the school districts and the work that they do, but here at this agency we have been supported in developing the best programs for kids that are considered hard to serve. And there can't be anything better than that. I mean, that's what we're supposed to do. I've learned more about myself and I've grown professionally more than I ever have in the last decade plus. MESD has been successful in supporting me in the most important dreams of my life, my living, my career. The MSD has been a wonderful place to work and it's been a joy to be a part of this team. I love it.